Today, I'm going to be reading the first ever script that I wrote. Back when little Michaela was typing away on her laptop in Google Docs because I didn't own a screenwriting software yet, along with reacting to what I wrote, I'm going to reenact my scenes. Put on a little show, visual performance. I'm gonna be acting these things out with my green screen. This is like the first time I'm ever gonna be like doing this type of video, so... <laughs> Hi guys, it's Michaela Lizak. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are excited for this video, leave a thumbs up. I'm gonna need it just for like the emotional support. And don't forget to subscribe because if you clicked on this video, that means that you kind of like this type of content or you're interested in this type of content. And guess what? I'm always making this type of content, really fun content about the film industry, acting industry, and screenwriting industry. So if we do it all over here, so just, just subscribe. <laughs> just do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm so annoying today. I actually got this video idea from my dear friend Walter Bridgewater over on Instagram. He made a reels reacting to his first ever script and I thought that would be a pretty cool video idea. Thank you, Walter. Let's get into reading and reenacting my first ever scripts. As you guys know, I'm studying to become a professional screenwriter slash director. I'm going to school for it at USC School of Cinematic Arts. I'm putting in the work, but I had to start somewhere. So that means we had to start from the bottom. This first script that we're gonna be reacting to is Untitled Pilot. I know I said in this title that it's gonna be my first movie script. Yeah, well, I'm more of a television gal. Now, the reason I kind of knew how to write scripts in the first place was because I grew up in the acting industry. I started writing when I was around 12 years old. I started acting when I was nine years old. So I had been in the industry for three years. I was like really inspired by just sitcoms, the Disney shows, the Nickelodeon shows. Clearly I was very inspired by that because if you can't tell, this script format is sitcom, 22 minute format. The scene A indicates that this is a sitcom, the all caps action lines. But the thing is, it's not double spaced and that's an issue. You need to be double spaced if you're writing a sitcom. I digress though. School hall day. Kids are just getting out of school and are ready to start summer vacation. Eve and Wade are talking by their lockers. Wade, can you believe it? Summer vacation. Time to relax, watch TV for 24 hours, eat all day and regret nothing. <laughs> yeah, but I'm kinda gonna miss Taco Tuesday. That's the only meal they don't microwave. Same here. Not me writing a sitcom, but not being funny. Like I can't even make a joke. Why would a school microwave meals? That doesn't make sense. I might actually miss this place. Wow. We're coming back next year. I know. Even Wade walked to the front exit and soon after, bump into the meanest girl in school, Kimberly. Oh my gosh. This is just full of cliche writing. We have a mean girl, shocker. Wow. Oh, snap. Oh, OMG, Eve. See, this is why nobody likes you, because you're a klutz and you ruin everything once you walk into a room. Kimberly exits. Well, that's one thing I'm not gonna miss. Even Wade clean up books. Hey, uh, don't, don't worry, she's just jealous. Why would Kimberly be jealous of me? This is giving very pick me girl energy, like very Debbie Ryan, like, why aren't she jealous of me? Like. She's perfect. Kimberly's pretty, popular. She may be all those things, but that doesn't matter. What matters is how kind, caring, and helpful a person is. Wade steps in closer, a real connection. Dang, he really, he trying to slide in, Wade, okay? And unfortunately, Kimberly is none of those things. You are. Wade leans in and... Yeah, right. Both exit. Dang, oh, he got curved. Okay, so that is uh, scene 
A of Untitled Pilot. I remember writing this like Eve didn't really see Wade romantically, but he sees her romantically. And you know, it's kind of that stupid thing that you always see. Like she's just like, yeah, right. Like she's not even registering what he's talking about. I don't know. I have many more scripts that I wrote during this time. Let's open a different one. This next one is called Innovated. It's another high school script. Uh, this one is a single cam though. So I remember this script is about a girl who wants to be a filmmaker and there's like a local film contest going on for scholarship money. So she assembles different students from her school who are great at different things like one is good in the woodshop class, one is really good at makeup and making kids over. And like, she's like, oh, I'm gonna assemble this team so that we can make a film together. Golly jeez. Why is the action line just a huge paragraph? That is like a big no-no. <laughs> Interior classroom morning. Where else would we be? We'd be in a high school classroom, clearly. Jordan, James, Principal, and Girl Scouts are all part of the cast. As you can see, that's a cast bracket. That's who's gonna be in the scene for today. Uh, but that's clearly wrong. The short scene, I see no Principal or Girl, girl Scouts in there just from a quick glance. Okay. Jordan walks into class, disheveled, and looks quite exhausted. Like she had got out of a wrestling match with a raccoon. The students look at her and Jordan feels a sense of urgency to hide her face in her history book ASAP. She quickly hurries to her desk and sits down, concealing her pure embarrassment from her classmates with an at least 200 pound textbook. 200 pound textbook? That 200 pound textbook would break the desk. James, concerned, grabs his textbook too and mimics her, putting it in front of his face. Psst. What happened to you? You look like you just got out of a wrestling match with a raccoon. <laughs> what is it with this freaking line? Was I proud of that or something? <laughs> ha ha ha, very funny, James. Let's just say I had a very interesting morning. Flashback. <laughs> Sidewalk, Girl Scout stand earlier. We see an eight-year-old girl, Scouts. Oh, that's improper grammar. Selling cookies at a stand. Jordan walks with no intention to purchase any treats. A Girl Scout stops her. Hi, would you like to buy a box of delicious Girl Scout cookies? Only $5. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Please. We have Thin Mints, Peanut Butter Patties, Caramel Delight. Still not in the mood. But we haven't sold a box of cookies all day. I wonder why. After that comment, the girls are fed up. Get her, girls. What? The Girl Scouts start attacking her. They start chucking boxes of cookies at her and dogpile onto Jordan. <laughs> Where's the money? I don't have any money. Uh-huh. Jordan uses all her strength and shakes off all the Girl Scouts that were piled onto her. Once she's free, she runs to her school as fast as she can. A Girl Scout quickly orders the others to chase after her. Oh my gosh. We're back in the classroom. End of flashback. The sound of the morning announcements break Jordan out of her memory coma. Good morning, Fieldwater students. Happy Thursday. I have a few brief announcements to go over. One, today is Lunch Lady Bertha's birthday. Oh, Bertha? She is such a sweetheart. I can't believe she's still living. <laughs> Sorry. And two, the city of Hedge Mill is having a student film contest. This class suddenly starts getting more lively chatty. Jordan's miserable look suddenly bursts into excitement and pure joy. Redundancy at its finest. The contest starts next Friday, so that will give you plenty of time to come up with a bunch of ideas for your film. Oh, <laughs> and did I mention that first prize is $5,000? <laughs> at this point, the class is filled with enthusiasm. $5,000? No way. Yes way. Anyway, I hope you all enter. It's a great way for you kids to show off your creativity. I wish you all good luck and have a great day, Fieldwater Sharks. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe. Man. And that's the end of the uh, scene. There's more stuff, but I think maybe we'll save that for another video. So if you're interested in a part two of this video, if you want to see what happens in this story, I guess, with Jordan and James, be sure to leave a like and comment down below if you want that part two. After reading and reacting to these scripts today, I feel like I definitely see my growth and how far I've come from all the way back then. I'm a lot more concise with my writing, more efficient. I know how to make a script flow a lot better. Yeah, I think that it's really cool to reflect and look back and I'd say that my past self would be proud of my writing today. <laughs> you guys stay till the end of this video. Comment locker and I'll know you stay till the end. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. What's this? Oh, uh, hello, it's me, editor Michaela. This video took me so long to edit. And wow, you're still watching. How about I show you some bloopers? Yeah, you already know what it is, what it is. I think I should put like a little, ooh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Bro, what am I doing? What am I doing? Get her, girls. Okay. Where's the money?